Good evening there, drivers and future drivers. Cypress Truck Line YouTube guy, Barrett here. I uh, figured I'd drop another video for you guys. As you can see, I ain't been home in quite a while because of this government mandated lockdown, because I do not call it the coronavirus uh, lockdown. It's government mandate, government takeover of our lives. But anyway, uh, I dropped another video of uh, the trainee today doing a uh, trailer hookup. So hope y'all enjoy and learn something and see just see how we do a little bit here at Cyprus. All right, gonna start. Trainee's gonna line the truck up with the trailer. Um, he's gonna back up nice and straight. He's gonna line up the edge of the outside of his tires with the uh, outside edge of the trailer. Checking his mirrors, make sure he's backing up straight. Go back it all the way up until he gets the uh, fifth wheel underneath the trailer. Now back up until the flat fifth wheel flattens out, which will be about where the nose of the trailer lands right between the two tandems. Now that he's there, he's going to get out of the truck at this point. I set his brakes and get out of the truck. And he is going to uh, check the alignment and the clearance of the fifth wheel because he doesn't want to end up on a high hook or be off one side or the other on the kingpin when it strikes the fifth wheel. You want to get it dead center. He's going to check for uh, his clearance on his trailer. He's checking his uh, lock now to make sure it's unlocked. Then he's going to bring the trailer. He's going to drop the trailer a little bit, bring the uh, landing gear about two inches off the ground. Um, because he doesn't want any daylight between the fifth wheel and the uh, kingpin plate. He's going to go under there and he's going to check for daylight, make sure everything is nice and secure, look, looks good. So you see there the landing gear is off the ground. Get my thumb out of the way, you can get a better view. So we want to do that because when he does his tug test, you don't want the landing gear touching the ground. That way you don't bend the landing gear or anything. Now he's going to back up until the kingpin locks into the fifth wheel. So he's going to go nice and slow until he hears it click. You can see his window is down so that he can hear it. And he's going to do a tug test. Again, we raise the landing gear so that we don't tear the landing gear up while we're doing the tug test. Also, I had to do before... I had him raise the landing gear up before he uh, backed under there, so that way, you know, it's not up that high, so if he does come back out from under, it doesn't slam back on the ground. But it is up off the ground, so he can do the tug test without doing any damage to the uh, landing gear. Now that he's hooked up, he is going to uh, hook his airlines up. He's going to uh, check his uh, electric cord. Make sure it's in there nice, tight, secure. Make sure it doesn't come out. Check your seals. Check now I'm going to correct him first. here because he didn't check his check uh, rubber grommets before he hooked his line up. So he's going to take it back off. He's going to check the grommets, make sure that they're in good shape before he hooks the airlines up. So he hooked it up there. Oh, didn't quite seat right, so he's going to do it again. There he goes, got the red line hooked. Now he's checking the blue line. Hook it up. So there we have it. He's checked them out. Everything looks good. Can push down on it. Make sure it's good and tight in there. Put now he's going to go under it, but he needs a light under there so he can see. So he's going to, on my truck, I have a load light wired into the frame of the truck that points up into the fifth wheel. So he doesn't need a flashlight under there. He can just turn the load light on and get up under there and look. So he's checked to make sure that the kingpin is locked. The, the fifth wheel lock is around the kingpin, making sure that the kingpin's all the way down and that the lock is going on the groove of the uh, kingpin so that the trailer makes sure that the kingpin isn't on top of the lock or anything so that he doesn't have a trailer separation because that's not what we want. So you run the landing gear all the way up to make sure that it doesn't catch on anything and all that. 
again so we want to make sure that, that kingpin's locked that's why we go under there and visually check it with the light during the day or during the night now this particular trailer doesn't have anywhere to secure the landing gear handle so at this point it. i'm going to tell him to go get a bungee cord to uh, secure that just take the fuel one we're going to replace it take the one with we the don't front want it fuel. flopping around while it's uh, while we're driving down the road we don't want it to kick out hit another vehicle or lay it flat against bounce the around gear. and break yeah. off so he's gonna he's gonna wrap a bungee cord around that make sure that is nice and secure while he's finishing that up when he gets done with that he's going to do a walk around of the trailer check the tires and the lights all that make sure everything's in good shape and I'll, I'm gonna go under here in a second. I'm gonna show you what we were looking at as far as the kingpin. Make sure that the fifth wheel is locked around the kingpin. You can see going up there, you're gonna look up in there, you can see the kingpin is locked in place. There's no daylight between the fifth wheel and the landing gear, the fifth wheel and the kingpin and the kingpin plate. And Finally, when you come back out from underneath there, you're going to want to go to the side of the trailer where the AVI sticker is. You want to make sure that the AVI is in current condition and ready to go. And there you have it. Thank you and enjoy.